Hello my quilting friends! My name is Leah Day and in this video I am comparing the Cutie Quilting Frame with the new Evolution Hoop Hybrid Frame. So the Hoop Hybrid Frame is here on the bottom, the Cutie is here on top. And I just wanted to say I am a dealer for Grace Company. You can find both of these frames at leahday.com grace. We ship within the continental 48 United States. So if you'd like to learn more about these frames, please come and check out my website, leahday.com slash grace. So we're going to compare these two frames on four factors, and that is size or portability, ease of use, uh, longevity, how long you're going to possibly have this frame, and then compatibility. Compatibility means how easy it is to use with home sewing machines and our Cunic long arms. So let's start first with size, and obviously the Cutie wins on portability. This is the frame, and as you can see, I can pick it up. I mean, it is small, it is tidy, it is so easy to collapse, so easy to pull out and set up. You can tuck it underneath your bed when you're not using it. I found it fit underneath my bed very easily. Uh, it had also fit in a closet that I have. I have clamps on the ceiling where I used to have an antique quilt frame that I would put on the ceiling, which was actually a very common way that quilters used to stash their frames, and I could put it on the ceiling if I wanted to. So this is the type of frame for someone wanting to pull out the frame, keep it in storage most of the time, but pull it out, set it up, do a weekend of quilting or a week of quilting. You know, let's say you pieced up a nice big king size quilt. You can do that on a cutie. It's a hoop frame, so you can shift side to side and forward and back and quilt any size quilt on it. And you can pull it out, set it up, get your quilting done, and then put it away. Of course, the Evolution Hoop Hybrid Frame is not portable. It is a pretty heavy frame and I have it set up here. It is five and a half feet long. So you're thinking 66 inches long and you do need to be able to get around to the back and depth wise, we're talking four, four and a half feet. So it's gonna take up more space and be a permanent setup in your home. And I have this set up in seven and a half feet wide and you know, I have a good six or seven feet, uh, you know, and two feet back here to the back. So I have space pretty much all around the frame and I'm able to get around by going around this side of it. So understand that the Evolution hoop frame is gonna have a bigger footprint and a permanent footprint. It's not easy to build it in a day and then collapse it. It's not something that you would want to do either. With a frame like this, you wanna build it and leave it there, get it leveled, and then always be able to load up a quilt real quick and then uh, take it down. Now, the great thing is both frames can quilt any size of quilt. So I can do a king size quilt on the Evolution hoop, I can do a king size quilt on the cutie. So there's no difference really there, but if you're looking for something portable, the cutie is definitely the winner. Now let's talk about ease of use. And what this means, really what I'm talking about is how much quilting can I do? How easy is it to use? What are the major gripes <laughs> that quilters can have about it? And I can say the Evolution Hoop Hybrid Frame kind of wins on this one. Number one, it can switch between rolling rail style and hooping. The other thing is it has these awesome new back clamps. So the back clamp goes on, the quilt tucks inside. So as you're rolling your quilt up, it tucks inside this channel. And then you have this spring loaded clip that just holds it all in. I Love that. When I'm hooping, it makes a big difference with speed and ease to be able to just roll the quilt and tuck it in there. With the Cutie, you have the elastic straps and clips, this system. And while it works, it can get a little frustrating. You can stitch through the elastics, your machine can hit them, they can pop off, they can catch on your carriage. You know, there are a lot of different things that can kind of go a little wrong with the clips and the elastic straps. They're not terrible, but they can slow you down. And it is gonna be slower because with the Cutie, you have less space. I mean, it's a smaller frame, but that also means you're gonna have less space for quilting. 
So I measured, I put my home sewing machine on this and I placed a piece of tape at the end and I loaded this and you wouldn't normally have the quilt loaded like this. I really did this to make it look good and also to show you an indication of how much space you have for quilting. So I placed a piece of tape on one end and I rolled my machine over and found where um, basically the other limit of the frame. Your machine is gonna hit the sides at some point and that's as far as my needle can stitch. I measured that and it's right at, for my machine, 32 inches. So 32 inches wide is the maximum amount of space width-wise I'm ever gonna be able to quilt on the cutie. Now, I can start with a home sewing machine, maybe get five to six inches of height. Uh, if I go up to a Cunique 16 long arm, I'm probably gonna get 10 inches of height, so that's 10 by 32. If I go up to a Cunique 19 inch long arm, probably going to get, let's see, I usually take the size of the long arm and then subtract four inches for quilt plus rail. So you're probably gonna get 14, 15 inches of height by 32 long with the Cunique 19. With the Evolution Hoop Hybrid Frame, you have 42 inches. Doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but really 42 inches is the difference between quilting a baby quilt in one pass all the way across edge to edge and not. I mean, it really is that big of a deal. You can see here, this is a 42 inch wide quilt panel. I've loaded it onto the cutie and I will have to advance once over to the right in order to quilt all the way across. This is the same size, the green is the same size quilt panel. It's a one yard panel printed from Spoonflower, 42 inches wide by 36 inches long, it's one yard. So I can quilt all the way across this panel on the Evolution because it's a bigger footprint, it's a bigger frame. And it's only slightly bigger, but it's that little bit bigger that makes that big difference and it does make it easier to quilt. I, I know it might seem like a little quibbling, but 42 inches I think was really perfectly planned by Grace Company. The frame is not so big that you have to completely rearrange your whole quilting space, but it's big enough that you can quilt a baby quilt and you can set it up for rolling rail and it's even faster. So for ease of use, I definitely give a lot of credence to the Evolution Hoop Hybrid Frame. It's just gonna be faster to load, it's gonna be easier to load, and then easier to advance, especially in hoop frame mode, because think about every time you hoop in hoop frame mode, it's like loading the quilt all over again. You're having to clamp on all sides. So anything that speeds that process up it's gonna result in more time quilting and less time fiddling with the frame. Okay, now let's talk about longevity. How long do you expect to have this frame? How long do you expect it to stick around and be useful for you? Well, with the Cutie, if you are a traveling quilter and you enjoy taking this on trips with you or you enjoy just pulling it out, getting your quilting done and putting it away, it's gonna last as long as that fits your quilting style. Same thing goes for the evolution. It's gonna last as long as you wanna do that particular style of quilting. But here's the key. The evolution hoop hybrid frame is designed to grow with you. Where the cutie is fixed, it can never get bigger, it can never get longer. You can never expand it widthwise. You can never make it an eight foot cutie or a 10 foot cutie. You know, you can't do any of those things. This is it, that's all it's ever going to be. The Evolution Hoop Hybrid Frame can be upgraded and expanded to an eight foot, 10 foot or 12 foot Evolution Elite that turns it into a rolling rail style frame so that all the rails roll. It adds an additional front rail. So it's a traditional three rolling rail frame then. And then you can add additional rails such as an idler rail and a batting rail to add even more functionality. And this is what I'm really talking about with longevity is having the space to grow and we don't always know the direction that we're going to grow into as quilters. Back in 2009, when I started the Free Motion Quilting Project, I worked on a stationary set down home sewing machine. That's all I was interested in quilting. That's all I was interested in using. And that's all I did. Now, as I have grown as a quilter, as I have seen lots of my students expand and kind of grow beyond me even, I realized, you know, there was a lot more a quilting that I was missing out on. I was doing one style, dense, intense, you know, show quilting style 
uh, really, really, really tight, tiny fills. And I realized I wanted to quilt more quickly. I wanted to make soft baby quilts. I wanted to make quilts from my bed. And I couldn't do that very easily in the setup that I had. So I began to grow and change. My opinions about quilting began to change. My desires about quilting began to change. And as I have changed and grown, my needs as a quilter have grown. I've expanded my sewing spaces. I have added long arms. I have added much, much bigger frames. So I want to encourage you to have an open mind, understand that where you are right now is awesome. It's exactly where you are. But understand that having that freedom to grow and say, hey, one day I might be interested in a long arm. I might be interested in a frame. I might be interested in quilting bigger quilts and I might be interested in quilting professionally. These things should go into even your first frame decision because you know you could spend five, six hundred dollars on a cutie today, but if you grow out of it in six months, you know, that's not the best investment of your time and money. If you went on ahead and waited, saved some pennies and got the Evolution Hoop hybrid frame, this is a frame that's gonna be able to grow with you. So you might start with the small footprint, mostly quilting baby quilts, mostly quilting on your home sewing machine. And then as your needs change, as the size of quilts you want to make grows and you wanna make it feel easier and maybe you start to get a little creative and think, wow, I can move that couch or I can move that dresser. I can move into that bedroom, that spare bedroom. I don't need that anymore and let me expand, let me grow with this. And that is what the Evolution Hoop Frame gives you. You have the ability to expand and then expand some more if you want to. You can keep growing with this frame and I love that about it. Now, as far as compatibility goes, our Cutie Frame is compatible with pretty much any home sewing machine. Uh, there's really no limit on the size of the home sewing machine that you put on the cutie. You probably, just for your own benefit and happiness, you probably want at least a seven inch harp space. And that's the distance between the motor on your machine and the needle. You probably want at least seven inches. That's gonna translate to between four and five inches of quiltable space on your quilt. So you can use any home sewing machine and then you can use our Cunique 15, 16, and 19 inch long arms. So that lets you know how big you can get it. The Cunique 19, again, you will probably have around uh, 14 inches by 32 inches of quiltable space maximum before you need to advance the quilt side to side or forward to back. On the Evolution Hoop Frame, this frame is compatible with home sewing machines and you really do need to have at least eight inches, nine inches of harp, that's the distance between the motor and the needle, and you need five and a half inches of height, that's the distance between the bed and the top of the machine, the uh, underside where the lights are, and that is to accommodate these bigger clips. If you don't have that much space in the arm, you're probably gonna hit the clip and that's gonna limit your space. So it's a little bit more, this frame is a little bit more picky when it comes to the home sewing machine you use because it's designed for bigger long arms. This can take our Cunique 15, 16, 19, 21, and they are saying it can go up to 24 inches. So that might mean something is coming out sometime soon. I have no idea. I haven't heard anything yet, but I am very, very excited about that. So understand that this is a frame that can really grow. You might right now have no concept of ever wanting to do anything with long arm quilting. You might never even consider putting QCT on a frame and doing anything with computerization. That's where I was in 2009. I even wrote you know, a whole long blog post about why I would never need a long arm. And that just goes to show that at some point we may grow even beyond our own wildest imaginations. So, and I, I have since updated with us seven reasons why I do want a long arm. So it's really funny how I was very close-minded about this for a very, very long time. And it took a lot of physical issues with my back. Uh, you know, I was hunching over a lot and I started just getting these massive headaches and stuff. And as my desires changed, you know, I was finishing maybe one quilt a year, you know, and I was like, I really want to speed up and I really want this to feel easier. And I really want my back to stop hurting so bad. And 
really when I got into this, I started with a sit down long arm and that still wasn't quite, you know, uh, easy enough. When I put my first Cunique 14 Plus on the continuum frame, it was, it was a really big deal. It was a really big change for me. And I'm so, so, so happy that I did it, that I took that leap uh, and I made that change because it's been so much better for my body. It's been so much better for my life. It's been great for my business too. I love being a dealer. I love being able to share these frames with you. And hopefully this video has helped you make a decision, whether it's to go on ahead and get a cutie and be able to have a portable frame that you can pull out, get some quilting done and then put it away, or it's to wait and make an investment in your quilting ability and your quilting skills and get an evolution hoop hybrid frame that will grow with you exponentially beyond your wildest imaginations of what you might be quilting in five, 10 or 15 years. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Hope it has inspired you to think outside the box and really give this some consideration. This is not a small decision. The frame that you use the machines that you're using that really can make or break your quilting experience. So if you have any questions about this video, if you need some more advice picking an awesome quilting system that will fit your budget, your needs, and allow you to grow, please get in touch with me. You can find my website, leahday.com. You can find all of our Grace products, our frames, our long arms, our accessories at leahday.com grace. Until next time, let's go quilt.